What's up guys, Epic finally caved in. Hey, so after a long two weeks of back and forth regarding the mech and now the turbo boat issue, my goodness, they finally reverted the update. You know, I was wondering all along how Epic plans to hold their ground if literally every streamer out there was uninstalling the game. Some were going to Minecraft and others were going to World of Warcraft, but they finally did it. Epic reverted it and people are going wild. Dubs, a well-known FaZe member tweeted this, and the hype doesn't stop there. I mean, look at Fortnite's current growth rate. It's in the negative. <laughs> it's insane, guys. Fortnite is literally at its lowest point. I mean, were the devs even listening? Who's running the show here? I think most of us can agree that the streamers and content creators are literally is what is keeping the game alive. What keeps it from dying? Many people who used to play H1Z1 and PUBG know the path Epic is taking, and we all know how this ends. What's up, guys? This is your guy, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, and today, hey, we're gonna be showing you everything you need to know regarding the current Fortnite meta and try to flesh out why Epic is doing what they do best, ruining things. Hey, if you wanna connect with me, I would love to hear from you on my Instagram, hit me up. We got a lot of things coming out to inspire you to be the best gamer of Fortnite you can possibly be. Also, before we get right into it, I just wanted to let all of you guys know that Pro Guys is offering mini in-depth analysis videos now available for Pro members, along with an entire library of content tailored to elevate your gameplay. The Insta Pro Pass comes with up to five live coaching sessions with real Fortnite pros. Link is at the top of the description. Anyways, let's do this. So we know Epic is literally notorious for dropping last minute game changes, right? Seemingly just ruining the Fortnite meta and mood. <laughs> Great. We saw what happened a little while back with the Infinity Blade, and that wasn't pretty. You remember that? Then they added planes, and then zombies, and now the mech and turbo building. Adding very controversial updates is definitely not the path Epic should go down, all right? Please. If they're looking to kill their game, then okay, I guess just go right ahead and do it. But uh, people like you and I, most of us, just love the good old Fortnite and don't want to see that happen. But this was the moment when Epic finally gave up. <laughs> we saw their performance with the mech, and it took nearly a week and a half before nerfing it. They lost many players during that period, as we've seen from recent stats, and tried this once again with yesterday's turbo nerf. Although one thing Epic doesn't understand is that the competitive community is more in sync with the casuals than they are. Not only have every huge known streamer uninstalled or just went off to play another game, in fact, the hashtag revert turbo building went viral, hitting number one for the USA. Nothing has pulled this much steam in Fortnite for a while now, so why all the fuss? I mean, does Fortnite actually have incompetent devs or is all this intentional? Okay, so such a prosperous company couldn't have hired people who clearly know what's going to ruin and destroy a game, so why put such ridiculous updates? People think that Epic is incompetent, which based on their track record very well may be the case, but you know, we believe there's more to it. So what kind of company would kill their game on purpose unless they have an alternative? Hmm. We think Epic has a master plan all along and it's still yet to be seen. You know, many people believe Epic just literally wants to cater to casuals, but how can this be the case if casuals are now quitting? Uh, somebody give me a clue because I'm a little confused. <laughs> okay, okay, so Epic can't seriously think these updates are going to actually do anything to them other than harm. Others believe that Epic is trying to push these updates, hoping nobody notices and people are okay with it. Hmm. Valkyrie from 100 Thieves literally said, I don't understand why you guys just don't have a limited testing mode where people can just try report pros, cons to the changes rather than making stuff public without really testing it. And you know what? I couldn't agree more. Okay, check this out. Do you guys actually really believe Epic, with all the money they have, they don't have competent developers? Or is somebody with higher power pulling strings regardless of what the devs think? The question is, who is the person behind the curtain? We're gonna find them. What do you guys think? All right, so comment down below. I wanna hear all your thoughts. I really wanna get this conversation going, all right? So, tell us what you think. So, another theory, or conspiracy, <laughs> is that the higher-ups actually want to push these controversial updates, regardless of what people think. You know, Mark Rain, which is the vice president of Epic Games, tweeted this a while ago when the most broken items were in the game. He said that the deagles, planes, and RPGs, which at the time were broken, were his favorite items. <laughs> Go figure. This is literally one of the heads of Epic Games, and I doubt he was joking. I mean, he could have been joking, but I, I don't, I'm not sure if he has a sense of humor, so I, I don't think he was. You know, from a casual standpoint, these broken items are actually quite fun to use. I mean, who didn't enjoy crashing into build fights with planes? I did. Don't judge me. Who didn't enjoy one-shotting builds with the Deagle? I did. Don't judge me again. These items are entertaining for the casual players, okay? But what Epic doesn't seem to grasp is that it's not considerably great for the rest of the community. 
In fact, we think Epic should just literally just add, you know, just two separate modes, right? One for competitive, all right, good idea, and one for casuals. Include all the controversial, fun items into one pool, and the others into the other. This way, they actually preserve the game. Wow. I think we can all agree, nobody wants to see Fortnite die, okay? I don't want to attend a Fortnite funeral. Oh, <laughs> Fortnite, no. It's such a memorable game with so much potential, right? But if Epic keeps doing stuff like this, it'll actually die out. And then I'll have to be there and cry. Eventually, I mean, regardless of whether or not Epic reverted the Turbo Build update, they still lost some players. Because after a proven track record of messing things up, <laughs> great. I mean, people just tend to get tired. Daquan, a very prominent TSM member who's super well known for being one of the funniest content creators, tweeted this a while back, and I think we all feel the same way. He said, one day, game developers will realize that you can't protect noobs from getting bopped. You add ranked, people will smurf. You separate casual and ranked, people will just go bot farm in casuals. You try to change game mechanics to save them, you ruin your game. History doesn't lie. And to be honest, he's spot on. This isn't a rip on anybody saying people are just bad or anything, but let's be real. People who put in eight hours a day should be better and have an advantage over those who play a few games a week, all right? This is just the natural law of nature. Practice makes perfect, and progress and success should reward those who just try harder than others. People can pick other hobbies and passions. But just to take everybody's hard effort and dump it in the trash can, bro, that's messed up. That's just totally uncalled for. Epic cannot, I repeat, balance things out because you're only going to hurt one side. In fact, most casuals care less about the game than the competitive community does. The competitive community is literally streaming Fortnite every single day for hours, getting all the fans in the community hyped. So when Epic makes a move like this, it's only to their detriment. I mean, let's just take a look at why Epic did what they did. Okay, so they supposedly claimed that they wanted to balance out the turbo building, right? Except the way they went about it made no sense at all. They could have had testers and found out how making all the buildings delayed and making it as if you're playing on 200 ping isn't going to resolve anything. The correct way, my friends, to solve an issue like this would be to test it out, get proper feedback, right? Then make adjustments accordingly. Okay, okay, so let's just take a look at the blog post they recently released. After they reverted the update, Epic legitimately made things a lot better than was planned before. My question is, why all the ruckus? Why stir up so many people, then suddenly fix things? Hmm. Well guys, unfortunately, this is not the first. You know, there's an old marketing strategy which has been used in the past to make the game as terrible as possible, right? And then suddenly, find the magic cure. Da 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 da! I just sang. Wow. They find the magic cure because that way we can take a look at the charts and the news and Epic is everywhere. Genius. They were number one on Twitter and dozens if not hundreds of articles coming out regarding the subject and Epic is probably just thrilled that they are now the most talked about in all the topics. The problem with this strategy is that is hurting your loyal fan base worth it? Is it truly worth stabbing all the people who played since day one and promoted the game for so long just over potentially getting some newcomers to join? Either way, if these newcomers don't like the game, guess what guys, guess what? They're just not gonna play. But the OGs are gonna be super upset. And from a marketing perspective, the plan will only work for so long, right? People eventually get tired, and the day that happens, Epic will regret what they've done, or they will simply just come up with a new game that dominates the market. You know, for some reason, games like Minecraft seem to just be one of those go-to games other than Fortnite. People are just obsessed with these games, right? And Epic saw a ton of their fan base flock to some of these games. It forced them to revert to what they did. Another notable thing to think about is that Epic has a lot of money, which means they can always pour more funds into tournaments, and people will come flying right back to the game. I don't care how much you don't like Fortnite, money talks. Now the question remains, Epic clearly knows how to launch an update and totally destroy things. They also know how to implement patches and updates that are good for everyone, like we've seen in some previous patches. But why are they doing this? Why? There are so many genius think tanks out there trying to pinpoint why correctly Epic is doing things this way, but nobody knows for sure. Speedy Gonzalez, which you all know, is a prominent Fortnite YouTuber and analysis, appeared on a Reddit post apparently applying for Epic Games as a consultant. And in that very same post, we see this. Okay, imagine Speedy gets the job and becomes an evil corporate robot for Epic. <laughs> I think at this point, many people want to help Fortnite. They really do, but they just don't understand. Epic is not exactly stupid. Okay, the devs know what they're doing, but as much as they may want to help, they can't. The higher-ups are the prominent decision-makers, all right? Remember I said the person behind the curtain, whoever that person is? They're going to continue to be there until someone takes charge. The only real hope Fortnite has moving forward is to continuously stay united and continually monitoring the epic changes as a whole. 
They did a pretty great job with the revert the turbo build, since Epic was literally forced to revert. Imagine, okay, what would have happened two or three days down the line? Half the player base would have quit. You know, it's insane how much of an impact this has. Streamers from all over, including your guy, Tifu. Yeah, that guy, Tifu, who stood firm throughout every single patch and caved in and left the game. I think we can all agree, Tifu was probably the most tolerant streamer, and when he decided that was enough, my goodness, Epic needed to do something fast. I mean, you lose your top streamer, you lose everything. So the question remains, how is Epic going to handle things going forward? Are they actually going to take care of the community or are things going to be the same? Nobody wants Fortnite to die, okay? I don't want to attend a Fortnite funeral. Please don't let that happen to me. I love this game and I think many others do too. So what do you guys think? Is there any hope for the future or is Fortnite coming to a halt as we know it? <sighs> I need some flowers or maybe not, or maybe not. So let us know in the comments down below. You know, we really appreciate all of your comments and support. Hey guys, once again, this is your guy, your friend, Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me right now on my Instagram. Love to hear from you, man. Love to hear from you. And don't forget to leave a big like on this video and subscribe with notifications on. Don't forget to check out the website as well as showproguys.com. Some love for bringing you this video. All right, guys, we'll see you later.